Welcome. It's March 29th, 2021, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. This week, uh, we're going to continue our looking at and, and just developing more of the memory verses that you're receiving each day if you're on our mailing list. If you're not on our mailing list, if you will send an email to me or message me or leave a comment with uh, a way to contact you, we'll get you onto our list and make sure that you get our uh, daily uh, um, verses of the day, which right now we're doing memory verses. And... Uh, with those verses of the day, you'll also get links to our uh, our thoughts of the day, our uh, video series of Reformed Theology from a Recliner, and also uh, our live streams when those are available. So, anyways, if you have your Bibles, turn to the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 2, chapter 3, excuse me, we're going to look at verses 16 and 17. Listen now and hear now the word of the Lord. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. And amen. Well, this is a verse we've, we've talked about, at least at Eastminster, quite a bit of late, uh, when we've been talking about the uh, doctrine of sola scriptura. The scripture alone is our guide and our reference. It is our only rule of faith. And uh, why? It's because it's profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. And, and most, most of us, uh, whether Presbyterian or you're just watching this, you stumbled upon this video, are uh, would agree that, that, that there's that benefit from, from Scripture, that is benefit for our training, for our teaching, for our reproof, for correction. It's beneficial for all of that. But the question after that is why? And that's what verse 17 answers, and that's what I want us to look at today. That the man of God, that you or me who believe in Jesus Christ, have received him as our, as our Savior, have received the gift of life, that we may be made complete and equipped for every good work. The book isn't here. The scriptures are not here just for us to have a nice reading tool to read a little bit each day as we work through the Bible in a year. It's not there just as a reference book when we're unsure of some pithy little quote we want to make from it or or if we uh, are wanting to support some argument. It is here to prepare us, to teach us as the people of God and equip us to do the works of God. How are we to serve God is a question that comes up, and, and the scriptures tell us that. They tell us how to be faithful. They tell us how to maintain uh, a Sabbath and how to worship the Lord. They tell us uh, how to, to love and to care for others. The scriptures provide all that we need to be equipped to do the work of God. And so as you memorize this verse and work on this verse today, may it remind you, may you be reminded of the benefit of the scripture is that it is, in meditating on it and memorizing it, is that it is preparing you and equipping you to be able to do the work of God. That's why it's so important to get it into your life. That's why it's so important to, to read it and memorize it and make it a part of every day. Well, let's hear from our brothers, the Puritan brothers. Uh, today's prayer is entitled, Help Us to Pray. Many may ask, who will help us? We say, Lord, show us your face. That will give us glad hearts, even so much more than farmers after a great harvest. We ask your favor and acceptance with our whole heart. Hear our prayer, Lord, and in your faithfulness answer us. Be close to us in everything. You that hear the young ravens cry, do not be silent. Otherwise, we are like those who go down to the pit. Let our prayers be to you like incense, and may our outstretched hands be acceptable in your sight. We beg for the powerful help and influence of the blessed Spirit of grace in our prayers. We do not know what to pray for as we ought, but let your Spirit help our illness and pray for us. Pour upon us the Spirit of grace and prayer. Through the Spirit of adoption, teach us to cry, Abba, Father. Send your light and truth. Let them lead and guide us to your holy hill and your tabernacles. 
Lead us to you, God, our exceeding joy. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth will praise you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, Matthew Henry, for those wise words. Well, let's close our time together in prayer. Thank you for being with us today. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we pray that you would take the word of God, the scriptures, and apply them to our hearts today. And Father, that you would grow us to be the men and women of God you desire us to be. Use the word to equip us and prepare us for the work that you have for us. And open our hearts and our minds to the work that you've called us to. That we will not neglect those divine callings, those providences that you put before us. But instead would step out in faith to reach out and to touch lives for you. Oh Father, I pray for our friends and family, family members who are in need whether physical need or material need, I pray, Lord, that you provide and care for them. Father, we pray for an end to this pandemic. We pray for an end to the politicization of this pandemic. We pray for an end to the disunity of this pandemic. And Father, we pray that you would be at work in our hearts, making us more and more like you. Oh God, may our hearts and minds be set upon you today for the glory of your kingdom. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today for Thoughts from the Word. Uh, join me again tomorrow as we look and consider another passage of Scripture to memorize, but also to learn and apply to our lives to equip us to do the good work of the Lord as we come together again for Thoughts from the Word. Amen.